The first thing that we want to show y'all today is one of my favorite, it's super easy, as you see that I like to do, super easy. Uh, we call these egg cupcakes. Okay, egg right? Egg right. cupcakes. Egg cupcakes. And what we are gonna do is start by turning our pan on. I'll just have some organic olive oil in here right now. Okay. And choose whatever veggies you like. I like to do onions, tomatoes, and mushrooms, okay? So what we're gonna do is saute up our veggies. I think I got some mushroom on there. That's all right. We're gonna saute up our veggies. Kim, would you mind putting some Celtic sea salt in that oil? Just a pinch. Now what is this? I love Celtic, Celtic sea salt. It's delicious. Oh, okay. It's actually good to add it when you're adding your vegetables because it helps draw the water out and evaporate and then... Kim. And does it also... It concentrates Kim? the flavor of your veggies that way. Okay. And then you don't need as much salt later on. And it's for people that have like, um, what is it, blood pressure? You know, salt is salt, but your Celtic sea salt, this one in particular, is ground a little bit thicker, so technically you're going to get a little bit less, but it's not necessarily lower in sodium. It's still it's salt. It's not, but what it is, is it still has all the minerals in it. And it has, right, yeah. it has other minerals in it. Um, they, they take minerals out of sea salt. Yeah. This is just evaporated seawater. So it still has all of the minerals, the big minerals and the trace minerals of seawater. And you can get it at your store. Uh-huh. And, and the flavor is just superb. And again, it's called Why Celtic. Is this not? Oh, because am I on the wrong one? I am. <laughs> yes, Celtic. Make sure you're on the right burner. Then. I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna burn up your pan. Right, we're gonna we bottom right. Put anything plastic yet? Let's make sure here. That. It was on it's here. It's this Celtic. one. It, yeah, but that one was on. Yeah, that oh, one's okay. on. Sorry. I'm oh, sorry. Sorry. Okay. All right. So we'll go ahead and get the rest of these chopped up. So all I'm doing here is sautéing veggies. So again, you can do. Um, what your favorite veggies are. And of course you want to put your veggies in the pan in the order of time that it takes them to cook. Onions take a little bit longer. The mushrooms and the spinach are going to go in last. So we're going to get those onions in first and those should be starting to cook now that I got the right burner on. <laughs> you know, I do this um, on Sunday and I make 24 of them and put them in the refrigerator and that way in the morning time and I make a giant thing of fruit salad. So the kids come and they get a small cup of fruit and they grab one of those and then that's their breakfast. I don't have to do anything, it's already prepared. They just warm it up real quick. And, and it is it's all, done. Kim it's will easy. tell you this too, it's all about getting things in your refrigerator that you, you know, making batches and then having leftovers of healthy food. So when you open the fridge, there's only so much room in there, right? Right, I call that setting yourself up for success. Right? Yeah, talk about that for a second. The first thing that you see, especially when you're hungry. So if you have to chop something that's healthy, you're not gonna potentially do that. You're gonna grab, you know, the chips or whatever, assuming you have those, even though maybe you shouldn't, but. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> Is that not on? So yeah, setting yourself up for success right, is right. best. You got it right. Yeah, there we go. Okay. And that's really a theme of what we're doing today. Uh, most of what we're making, I think all of the items we're making, right. Our make ahead, you're gonna have extras, and we're even, our entree, we're turning, we're taking an item and turning it into something else, something else for the next yeah. day. Right. Mm -hmm. So, yes, all right. So the next thing we're gonna do while those are cooking, as soon as those get sizzling a little bit, we'll add the mushrooms and the spinach. Okay. Okay. Then we're just gonna crack up some eggs. You wanna help? I'll help. This is a dozen eggs. And I need a trash bowl. I guess we here, can just, just put them back in here. You wanna do that? And okay, so I don't love when you scramble eggs and then you know go to heat them up a day later. You know, eggs can get kind of gross. Probably. Yeah, just scrambled eggs, leftover scrambled eggs. So this is a way to to change that. These are fabulous day two, three, and four, and you know you don't have that issue. So it's an easy grab and go with protein and the good carbs and the veggies. Um, I think that's all. Is that all? All right, I need a fork. We're gonna scramble them up. And like Kim was saying, to add the Celtic sea salt. You want it more? Yeah, you wanna do a little bit more there? I like to put a little in here too. It's all about layering. Now look at that. Did you hear what she just said? It's all about layering. It's like, it's like fashion, right? You wanna layer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, because so, I, I mean, think about flavor layering, yes. I just lay it in there and cook. So we got to learn. There, you, that was a key, almost learned. Yeah, you <laughs> almost learned that. Yeah. 
You must learn it. It's all <laughs> it about is. layering. I mean, and that's why you have to taste as you go. And you know, who knows if the amount you put in at the beginning is the amount that you need. So you want to layer your flavors, layer your spices, and salt and pepper is definitely one of those. Wow. All right, so let's get our... <laughs> well, the other good thing about recipes like this, too, is that you can customize them. Right, just like what you said earlier, you can put, if you don't like mushrooms, don't put mushrooms in. Like um, zucchini would be a good alternate. Ooh, yeah. If you wanted to do that or whatever's in season. You know, and if you're a, a bacon and cheese kind of person. I, for Chris. You can do turkey bacon in here. You can do bacon. I put um, peppers and onions and I do, I chop up chicken sausage. Ooh, that's I a good idea. That in there for that's how y'all do your egg cupcakes? That's how we do them. And in my house, we name everything to sound like it's some fun <laughs> dessert. It helps my son. <laughs> really, we call beets sugar sugar sticks. Sugar I'll cut sticks. up beets and carrots and we'll call them sugar sticks. That's awesome. And he knows better, but it still kind of gives that. Yeah. It's marketing. It's marketing, it's absolutely. Marketing. <laughs> well, absolutely. That's what we call water crystal juice. For real? Yeah. Because one of our children who will remain nameless did not like to drink water. <laughs> so that was our marketing technique. All right, so we don't need to really cook these down too, too much because they're still going in the oven. And of course, keeping the crunch and the freshness, I like that. I like that for flavor. So we're gonna put about a spoonful of our mix in each muffin, in each cupcake area. What's that? You need to spray it? Yeah, can you grab that spray, please? Thank you. Can I give you this spoon instead of Here we go, one? here we go. We'll be all right. That's for sure. Can you use this These instead will be of fine. a metal spoon? Absolutely. I did not know where those were. Okay, we can turn that down a little bit too. Now we're really cooking. Yeah. It smells delicious. Eventually they will have smell-o-vision. <laughs> smell-o-vision. <sighs> you know, you can chop onions and saute them and it, they, that, it brings people mm -hmm. into the kitchen or from mm -hmm. the studio into the studio. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Oh, they do. When we're it cooking, does. they come running. Let's make sure we get a Our little more partners, spinach people in there. Will come running. They'll say, "Ooh, come on. What are you cooking?" And it's always onions, yeah. onions and garlic. Right, right. Onions and garlic. All right. So, and what about the rest? Hold that. We are gonna keep that and use that later. Okay. You can keep that in your refrigerator. Um, I have stuff like that as salads all the time. Right. All the time. Mm -hmm. People are claiming this already. Well, you could throw some. Like, a little all right. Bit should of I be bold and pour? I would do this at home. Do you pour it in a bowl like that? that That's what I do at home. If not, I need like a, um, a ladle or a, spoon, or a bigger spoon. Rice. Or measuring cup. Measuring cup can work. Why don't I do that? Right here. Well, the reason brown oh, okay. rice is there better than white rice I'll just is because this. it hasn't had Okay, so all um, we're going to do now. Uh -huh. stripped from it, um, so it's got more nutrients and more fiber. All right. Okay. So what we're going to do now. I'm going to make those. Tammy's been telling me she's made them and... Kids and look how them. easy that is. It just makes my morning so much easier. And then I, Chris is hard for me in the morning times, and he likes these, and so So this you is get easy. it. You can put whatever you want in there, and you'll see at the end how they just stay in their form, and you can just pop them in a Tupperware and have a dozen of them in the fridge at all times. Well, the kids love it, don't they? Yes. She told so me. So I that. have one of those big 24 muffin tins because if I'm going to do them, it I'm going to do it all at once you know you're teaching them what they should be doing mm -hmm. as adults as well which right. is a really extra little component when those kids wake up in the morning ever since they've been what eight years all right. old mm -hmm. they've been cooking breakfast right they crack their own eggs <laughs> the first time they cracked them they had shells and everything but <laughs> all right all right so look like I said that's so easy customizable and we are going to pop these in the oven at 350 for about 14, 15 minutes. Awesome. We'll watch them All around right. there. That looks okay? great. I'm gonna put those in there. Thank you, Tamara. There you go. I'm gonna give this guy a rinse real quick. Mm -hmm. You know, we um, the way we eat on the detox is trying to get protein, good carbs, and good fat yes. in every meal that we eat. Um, that right there is an example of perfect combination. You've got the protein in the eggs, you've got the good carbohydrates in the vegetables. Um, you could add a couple of almonds or avocado if you wanted, but that that that's a very good um, solid combination of food. Would you agree? You're the I dietitian. I would, and I like um, the extra virgin olive oil mm -hmm. for the health components of the olive oil. Now, um, extra virgin olive oil. It you cannot make it hot, right? 
You can, so that's a little bit, it, it's true that it does not by itself have the same smoke point. Mm -hmm. That's what they talk about when they're saying you shouldn't overheat extra virgin olive oil and you shouldn't overheat it. But once you start adding food to the pan, the smoke point changes. Oh, okay. Because there's a lot of water in vegetables. So that's uh -huh. one of the things people don't necessarily always understand. So it is perfectly acceptable to warm your pan and add the extra virgin olive oil. You don't want it smoking hot. Yeah. You want it to get hot and then you add the, the vegetables. I don't just turn it on high. Right, and then it. walk away. <laughs> that's <laughs> you. Right. So if it's smoking, definitely <laughs> toss that out and start again. Yeah, Same okay. Same thing for roasting vegetables. Once you add the, the vegetables to the olive oil, that water gets in there with the olive oil and changes the smoke point. I was okay. told by a nutritionist now that olive oil, though, once it's it's not really meant for heat because That's it does become a carcinogenic. And so we always use coconut oil. Right. Well, coconut oil would have a higher smoke point, but extra virgin olive oil is perfectly fine. Fine. Okay. Um, I wouldn't grill with that or I okay. wouldn't stir fry because those are really high temperatures. Okay. But I would still saute and I would still roast vegetables at 400, 425 with olive oil as Very long good. as it's all combined together. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very That's good. That's a good thing because I, I never knew. In fact, I went to coconut oil because I didn't want to when I heard it was carcinogenic when it got hot. So right. remember that. It so tastes that, bad when it gets overheated uh -huh. too. So that's a clue. Yeah. Yeah. So you have now you have two good keys. You got to salt as you go, which I've never done. Uh -huh. <laughs> Throw it in and layer it. In. And another one is you can use virgin oil, but don't let it smoke. Mm. Yeah. All right. We're going to go to Fred Prophet. He's going to sing for you. And as he does, I want you to get up and go to the phone, answer the trivia question, or if you have any questions at all, make that call. Tammy, you just said you checked to see who was watching from where did you say some of those oh, countries? Oh, goodness. Uh, I can't remember. Oh, okay, hold on, I can oh, look. Israel, Bangladesh yeah. was on there, Israel was on there. Watching um, today. China was on there. Let's see here, hold on, I got it right here. United Kingdom, South Korea, Netherlands, Vietnam, Australia, Canada, and Israel. So if you guys are watching, thank you. If you can understand English, thank you. <laughs> no, but there are the English people watching, so thank you so Why much. Why would they be watching if they couldn't I understand know. We're gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> well, some things do. Okay, we're gonna go to Fred. <laughs> we'll be back in just a minute. <laughs>